So here's an important upgrade we're going to be doing, uh, or we sorry, I've done on this uh, our L31 rods here. First thing you might notice actually that this is a regular GM forged rod. It's not a powdered metal rod. You might be questioning that if you're familiar with Vortec engines. Uh, a lot of them will claim they have powdered metal rods. In my experience, not all of them do. Some of the early ones just have the regular GM powdered metal, or uh, sorry, the regular GM forge rods rather than the powdered metal rods. These rods are still really good and in the horsepower we're running, we'll have no issues. Uh, I mean, I've pushed rods like this to 700 horsepower. Obviously not recommended, it's not gonna last forever, but they will take quite a bit of abuse if done properly. That leads me to my next thing. The real upgrade, the only machining we have done other than our own ball honing, so this is something you're not gonna be able to do at home, is have your rod ends resized. So the upgrade was the ARP rod bolts, which I highly recommend. Some might question why we're doing that at this horsepower level. I just, when I have rods resized, it doesn't sit right with me running the old stock rod bolts. This is the most stress fastener in this engine uh, and in pretty much any engine is this bolt takes the most abuse. So I just don't feel right without going to an upgrade. Obviously ARP bolts are atop the line and the only rod bolts I will pretty much use. So when we're resizing these rods, rod ends, we're gonna, we're gonna throw a set of ARP bolts in here. Uh, these rods all are done now and uh, resized and everything is looking just like brand new. So everything's coming together really nice with this rod setup and our, and our, our rods and our engine, our L31 setup here. Uh, and I think we're going to have quite a decent engine on our hands. And not just for power wise, but for reliability. Doing stuff like this is adds to reliability because just about every Chevy rod you're going to pull out, this is going to be out around and just your bearings don't have a chance. And if you're starting to push on these engines and you don't have round journals or uh, round uh, um, uh, bores riding on your journals, you're just asking for disaster. And I believe that's why a lot of these small block Chevys end up throwing rod bearings. It has a lot to do with these uh, rods becoming out of round. So that's the big upgrade we've done this. So far, that's the only machining we've done. Uh, this will run you about 150 to 200 bucks for machining plus the price of the rod bolt. So it's a little bit of an expense, a little, you know, not crazy, but something in my opinion needs to be done. So that's an upgrade. If you're wanting for balance too, uh, some guys might question if you have to change balance. I mean, in a technical perfect world, Will it change the balance out? Balance could slightly change it just with a different weight of rod bolts. Have I ever experienced any issue by changing rod, rod bolts and not balancing? No, you'll never feel it just because of the tolerance of a factory balance. But there you go.